Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem of simplifying square root of 125 plus square root of 25 over square root of 125 minus square root of 25. Now, solution. We have two methods, so let's call this method 1 or first method. So it will be equal to from here square root of 125. Here we have square root of 25. So this square root of 125 is same as square root of 125. It is 5 times 25. Then plus this square root of 25. Then over square root of 125 is same as square root of 5 times 25. Then minus square root of 25 then it will be equal to we separate this so it will be square root of 5 times square root of 25 so here square root of 5 times square root of 25 then plus this square root of 25 then over into here also we separate this so it will be square root of 5 times square root of 25 then minus this square root of 25 then in the next step it will be equal to from here square root of 25 is common so we'll take square root of 25 out of bracket then this divided by square root of 25 it is this square root of 5 so square root of 5 then plus this divided by this it is 1 bracket then over into here in the denominator square root of 25 is common so also here we'll take square root of 25 out of bracket then this divided by this it is this square root of 5 then minus this divided by this it is 1 bracket then in the next step into here you can simplify this square root of 25 will cancel this square root of 25 then we we'll rationalize the denominator so into here we will multiply in the denominator by here we have square root of 5 here we have minus so here to be plus 1 bracket so we multiply also by this in the numerator so it will be bracket square root of 5 then plus 1 bracket then in the next step it will be equal to from square root of 5 plus 1 times square root of 5 plus 1 it is square root of 5 plus 1 bracket square then over into here this this times this is in the form of a minus b bracket times a plus b bracket which is equal to a square minus b square so we'll apply this form whereas here a square it will be square root of 5 square so here it will be square root of 5 square then minus b square so it will be minus 1 square it is 1 then it will be equal to from here in the numerator this this is in the form of a plus b bracket square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 a b so we'll apply this form a square it will be this square root of 5 square so square root of 5 square then plus b square it will be 1 square which is 1 then plus 2 a b it will be 2 times a is square root of 5 times b it is 1 then over here square root of 5 square this square root will cancel this square so it will be 5 minus this 1 then in the next step it will be equal to into here this square root will cancel square so it will be 5 plus 1 it is 6 so 6 then plus here 1 times 2 square root of 2 1 times 2 square root of 5 it is 2 square root of 5 then over this minus this it is 4 so it will be equal to into here in the numerator we will take 2 out of bracket 6 divided by 2 it is 3 plus 2 square root of 5 divided by 2, it is square root of 5. 
bracket then over this 4. Now to simplify, this will cancel by 1, this by 2. So our final answer, the simplified form, it is this 3 plus square root of 5 over 2. So this is the simplified form. Now to solve in another method, method 2. From our problem, let's write our problem which is square root of 125 plus square root of 25 over square root of 125 minus square root of 25. Then into this second method, the first step we will start by rationalizing the denominator. So into here, in the denominator we will multiply by square root of 125. Here we have minus, so it will be plus square root of this 25 bracket in the numerator we we'll multiply also by this so here bracket square root of 125 then plus square root of 25 bracket then it will be equal to from here this times this it will be square root of 125 plus square root of 25 bracket square then over into here in the denominator this times this is in the form of a perfect square so it will be square root of 25 square so here square root of i mean square root of 120 125 square then minus square root of 25 square then it will be equal to from here here in the numerator, this here is in the form of a plus b bracket square, which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we'll apply this form. Then it will be a square, it is this square root of 125 square. Then plus 2ab, it will be 2 times this times this. So times square root of 125 times square root of 25. Then plus b square, it will be this square root of 25 square. Then over, into here in the denominator, this square root will cancel square. So it will be this 125 minus, this square root will cancel this square. So it will be minus 25. Then it will be equal to, from the numerator, this square root will cancel square. So it will be this 125, then plus. Also from here, this square root will cancel this square. So it will be plus 25, then plus 2. Here, square root of 125 is same as square root of 5 times square root of 25. Because 5 times 25 it is this 125, then times this square root of 25 this then over into the denominator this minus this it is 100 then it will be equal to from this plus this is 150 then plus 2 times from here square root of 25 it is 5 square root of 25 it is 5 so here it will be 5 times 5 then times this square root of 5 then over this 100 then it will be equal to 150 plus 5 times 5 is 25 25 times 5 it is 25 times 5 it is 50 then times this square root of 5 then over this 100 then in the next step, from the numerator, here 50 is common. So we'll take 50 out of bracket. 150 divided by 50, it is 3. Plus 50 divided by 50 is 1. 1 times this square root of 5, so it will be plus square root of 5. Then over this 100. Now to simplify, 50 divided by 50, it is 1. Here 100 divided by 50, it is 2. 
So the simplified form, it is 3 plus square root of 5 over 2. So this is our final answer stem as the answer in the first method. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.